Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the South Ridgewood Avenue, US-1 at Marion Avenue Safety Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Richard Smith, and I am the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will present information on the department's plans to improve safety and enhance operations through this project. We encourage your feedback, and during the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Thank you. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. A copy of the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 992-200-2. For online participants in the GoToWebinar application, you will see a set of icons in the top right corner of the menu bar. Click the questions icon where the red arrow is pointing to open the questions panel. Type your question into the field where the red arrow is now pointing to and hit send to submit your question or comment to project staff. To download documents about the project, click on the materials icon where the red arrow is pointing to open the documents panel. Inside are project files that can be viewed or downloaded. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, Click the Questions icon at the bottom of your screen. This will open the Questions panel where you can enter your question or comment into the field and hit Send. Click the Handouts icon at the bottom to open the Documents panel where you will find project files to view and download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, Please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar or send an email to chuck at valeran-group.com to report it. You may also call 1-833-851-8340. Staff will do their best to assist you. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This project is located in Volusia County on South Ridgewood Avenue, also known as US-1, at the intersection with Marion Avenue in the city of Edgewater. The Financial Project Identification Number or FPID for this project is 992-200-2. The purpose of this project is to enhance safety at the intersection and improve traffic flow. There is currently a full median opening at the intersection. 
Proposed improvements include converting this full median opening to a two-way directional median opening. One of the most important responsibilities of the Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, is to ensure that the design of each state road properly balances access and mobility. Access management, the regulation of intersections and median openings, is used to provide this very important balance. A basic principle of access management is to limit the number of conflict points, or points along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross, just not at the same time. Each conflict point is a location where a crash can occur. One way to limit conflict points is by minimizing the number of median openings and restricting certain movements at some median openings. As previously indicated, the intersection of South Ridgewood Avenue and Marion Avenue is currently a full median opening. Crash data collected between January 1, 2018 and December 31, 2020 indicates there were 19 crashes reported at or near the intersection, resulting in nine injuries and over $128,500 in estimated property damage. Based on the latest crash data collected from the end of 2020 to May 31, 2023, there have been 11 additional crashes at this intersection. This diagram illustrates the concentration of crashes collected in the Crash Data Collision Summary Report. Currently, drivers in the median waiting to turn westbound onto Marion Avenue cannot clearly see approaching southbound vehicles on South Ridgewood Avenue when there are other vehicles in the median. Once a driver is staged in the median opening, they may restrict the ability of northbound left-turning or U-turning drivers to complete their turn. Also, while staged in the median, drivers can block the inside through lanes of South Ridgewood Avenue. Based on these results, a two-way directional median was proposed to reduce these conflict points and improve safety. The proposed safety improvements at the intersection of South Ridgewood Avenue and Marion Avenue include converting the full median opening at this intersection into a two-way directional median opening and modifying directional signage and pavement markings. These median changes will reduce many potential conflict points, making the road safer for all users. In addition, these practices increase mobility and efficiency, reducing congestion and allowing more vehicles to safely navigate the roadway. In a survey of drivers across five Central Florida projects involving access management changes, 78% said they felt safer and 84% felt that traffic moved better. Northbound traffic on South Ridgewood Avenue will be able to turn left onto West Marion Avenue, and southbound traffic will be able to turn left onto East Marion Avenue. These proposed improvements will continue to allow U-turns for both northbound and southbound traffic on South Ridgewood Avenue. Only right turns will be possible from both East and West Marion Avenue onto South Ridgewood Avenue. Moving forward, the design of this project is in progress and anticipated to be complete in 2024 by FDOT's in-house design team. The improvements on this project will be within the existing right-of-way. Construction for this project is funded for 2025 and has an estimated cost of $110,000. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by October 30, 2023, 12 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, 
please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 992-200-2. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at richard.smith at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 562, The Land, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5326 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 992-200-2 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by October 30, 2023. Have a good evening.